Beverly Crandall, CEO of Alliance Foundation of Canada Dog Guides. Welcome to the last graduation of 2021. It is my distinct pleasure to send our new graduates off to begin new adventures with a dog guide at their side to provide support. We talk a lot about stories at Lions Foundation of Canada Dog Guides. The antics our puppies get up to, stories of training trials and tribulations, and the real life stories of the challenges our clients live with. What makes graduation so special is that it's a happy chapter of one story and hopefully the beginning of many more chapters to come. Tonight, we have 23 teams graduating from five different dog guide programs. This is the culmination of a lot of work that begins with our puppies. I want to take this opportunity to say a special thank you to our most amazing foster families and dog sitters, who in many cases have had extended fostering duties beyond the normal one year commitment. Each of these graduating dogs have had an amazing start in life because of the loving homes they've had with our foster families. They've had the task of ensuring these puppies grow into well-socialized dogs, ready to begin training to be a working dog. And then comes the bittersweet day the foster families return their puppies to begin their next stage of training and the ultimate match with a client. We thank each and every one of our foster families and dog sitters for their unselfish gift, dedication, and commitment to preparing these amazing dogs for the work they do. For this graduation, we have 36 foster families and four dog sitters who have all had a hand in the success of these graduates. I also wanna thank our sponsors for their generosity in providing the funds to support these graduates. Each dog is provided to our clients at no cost. This is only possible because of the generous support of our donors, but in particular, our sponsors. Your generosity makes this graduation possible, but beyond graduation, it truly transformed the way our clients are able to live by having a dog guide at their side to help them navigate their world with confidence and independence. I am pleased to say that every one of the matches graduating tonight has been sponsored, and you'll hear more about the sponsors with our graduates. Lastly, I want to thank Pet Value. Pet Value is our feeding program partner. They donate Performa Trin food and treats for all of our dogs, puppies in foster homes and dogs in training but their partnership extends well beyond that. They are also the title sponsor for our National Pet Value Walk for Dog Guides, and they also sponsor numerous graduates throughout the year. In this graduation alone, Pet Value is sponsoring five matches. We truly couldn't ask for a better partner, and we are so deeply appreciative of your support and commitment to our mission. I'd now like to turn our attention to the reason we have all gathered here, logged into yet another Zoom webinar, and donned our headphones to celebrate the success of our newest graduates. I believe graduation is the closest we get to expressing our mission, our reason for existence. All the planning, training, care, and feeding of dogs, fundraising, and administration it all culminates in seeing dogs matched with clients and seeing their ability to do amazing things in their lives. Graduation is an emotional time in which we celebrate, honor, and recognize all who have been a part of this story. There's a hint of sadness, but that is outweighed by a sense of pride and happiness in seeing the amazing things our clients and dogs can do together. Thank you for joining us tonight to celebrate. Adam Woodward, Pet Value Vice President of Retail and Operations for Franchise Division. Good evening, everybody. This is Adam Woodward from Pet Value Canada, and I'm the Vice President of Retail Operations for the Franchise Division. 
Um, first, I'd like to say I really miss seeing you all live. It's been <laughs> too long, and in 2022, I hope we can come in and celebrate these events with you in, in person. Uh, but for tonight, I really wanted to offer a, a heartfelt congratulations to all of our graduate graduates for tonight um, on this standing event. It's, it's just a big deal, and we are so proud of you for doing that. Um, your journey with the dog guides is just beginning, and, and the Pet Values Family of Stores is really honored to be part of that journey. Um, whether it's helping you feed the dog guides uh, through their training or sponsoring you as a team, we love to do whatever we can to make sure as many Canadians who need dog guides uh, can have one. But as I said, it's just the beginning and there's so much more in store for you and your dog guide. The connection you make with our pets is something that we treasure at Pet Value Canada and nothing more exemplifies that bond better than the connection that you and your dog guide will continue to make together. You are now Dog Guide members. Um, we want to hear from you, so please don't hesitate to check in, whether it's by email, phone, or just going to a store and checking with one of the experts in the stores. At a Pet Value, a Paul Max, Bosley's, Total Pet, or Tizel. We have lots of stores across the country and we'll be really happy to see you in them. Um, we'd love to know how you and your pet are doing. And also, you're always welcome. So again, congratulations. Have a great night uh, and happy holidays from Pet Value. Thank you. Richard Weens, foster dad to serve his dog guide, Maris. Hi, I'm Richard Weens. My family fostered Maris, who's graduating tonight. And it's an honor for me to speak on behalf of all the foster families whose dogs are graduating tonight. As foster families, we welcome these adorable little puppies into our homes and lay all the groundwork and give them all the tools that they need to be successful. As we watch them grow up, we always become best friends. And it's never easy when our work is done and the time comes to say goodbye. At the same time, we feel a great sense of accomplishment to see them reach their full potential and to start on the last leg of their journey as dog guides. We're so proud to see them all grown up and graduate on this special day, to see what they've become and what a difference they make in people's lives. And so I want to thank all of you for all your hard work and congratulate you and your dog guides on their graduation. And I want to wish all of our graduating dogs and their new partners all the best for a new beginning and for all the good things to come. Christina Galante and Art Fernandez, instructors in the Autism Assistance Program. Hello everyone, I'm Christina and I'm an instructor in the Autism Assistance Program and this is Selma. I'm Art and I work alongside Christina in the Autism Program and I have Kino here with me. We train dogs in the Autism Program who help children with autism aged 3 to 12. In September and October of this year, we had eight clients come in to receive their dog guides. Four of them were successor clients, which means that they had already had a dog guide in the past, and this was their second dog guide, and four of them were new clients who had never received a dog guide before. During the 10 days that they were here at our facility, we did a lot of training. We went on a lot of outings, we did a lot of material, we covered a lot, um, but we Although we worked really, really hard, we had a lot of fun. One of my favorite moments from this class was it was actually a really special moment for Art. He was graduating his uh, three-year apprenticeship and the clients did not skip a beat. They put on the party hats, they uh, grabbed their noisemakers, and we had a really great celebration with the clients for Art. What was your favorite part? Oh God, there, there are so many favorite parts. Uh, I think I think my favorite part was when we actually got together and put together a surprise uh, for one of the clients who's, uh, you know, who's never experienced this before. So just the, just the planning and, you know, the implementing and seeing the face on the client, uh, seeing the client's face actually, when uh, she realized that the surprise was for her was, uh, it takes the, it, 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 you know, it's fantastic. So that was my favorite part. That's awesome. 
We have eight clients that we would like to share with you and Art will let you know who they are. Yeah, pulling out my little sheet here because I keep on forgetting names. Okay, so we have Vance with Orlean, uh, Finn with Mickey, Caleb with Ron, Samantha with Roxanne, Aiden with Raymond, Gavino with Memphis, uh, Braden with Tumnus, and Yuan with Quay. Now we would like to congratulate all the clients who have graduated. They're, they're receiving fantastic dogs and we hope that they are going to be able to help them in some way in future. Um, we hope to hear about your successes and we hope to be able to work with you further in the months and years to come. Sean, dad to autism assistant graduate, Finn with Dog Guide Mickey. Good evening everyone. Congratulations graduates and on behalf of me and my classmates, big thank you to the Lions Foundation of Canada Dog Guides. Are the graduates the dogs or the participants? It's a little murky, but I will say that I think uh, we learned more in a week at Dog Guides than I did in many of my university classes. My experience at Dog Guides was very positive, made so by my classmates, our instructors, and the many key contributors behind the scenes. Upon leaving Dog Guides, I immediately missed the delicious meals prepared by Sandy's wonderful kitchen and of course the company of my classmates, Mirka, Bonnie, Louise, Elizabeth, and Vincenzo. A cool story that I shared, um, the week before the training, uh, during the virtual class, my wife shot me a picture of Mickey with the caption, I hope we get Mickey. She just loved the look of Mickey and our son Finn has a more than healthy zest for the letter M, and uh, sure enough, we got Mickey. I don't know if it was fate or not, but Mickey's had a wonderful impact on our household. He's had a calming influence on our son, Finn, particularly at bedtime, and Finn takes great pride in holding the handle during our walks. I was skeptical that he would do this, but uh, Christina noted with me that she's seen this many times in her experience, and she was exactly correct. Finn has never let go of the handle. A uh, big thank you to our set of instructors, from Mike's strength training to Shannon's uh, grooming and Courtney's uh, multiple riot acts on potential dog weight gain. I can honestly say we learned a tremendous amount. Um, special shout out to Steph. Uh, when I saw her adopt a queen of confrontation persona at the airport, it was at that moment that I wish I had her in my life to troubleshoot all of my travel woes. To Art and Christina, uh, thank you for being so good at what you do and your ongoing accessibility. I noted Christina's uh, wisdom is beyond her years. Well, I will say that Art's is more age appropriate. Um, it's also high and I'll further note that he is one of the kindest and corniest men I've ever had the pleasure of meeting. On behalf of the graduates, thank you to the donors and sponsors. Without you, none of this would be possible. And I'd also like to thank the um, foster families who I understand to be very reliable and played a huge role in the uh, raising of our awesome dogs. The Lions Foundation of Canada Dog Guides is an incredible operation of dedicated and passionate employees uh, who appear to me as much, uh, who appear to be as much family as uh, coworkers. And uh, kudos to this group, kudos to the administration and the HR. You have clearly created something very special. To Dog Guides, uh, continue doing the incredibly impactful work you're doing. Graduates, it's been a pleasure. Good night. Congratulations to the Autism Assistance graduates. Fans, Hogs is Dog Guide Orlean, a black Labrador retriever. Finn and Mickey. Finn sits on the bench next to his dog guide Mickey, a black Labrador retriever. Caleb and Ron. Caleb sits on the couch with his dog guide Ron, a yellow Labrador retriever. Roxanne. 
Samantha sits on a rock next to her dog guide, Roxanne, a black Labrador retriever. Aiden and Raymond. Aiden sits next to his dog guide, Raymond, a black Labrador retriever. Gavino and Memphis. Gavino kneels next to his dog guide, Memphis, an apricot standard poodle. Brayden and Tumnus. Brayden sits behind his dog guide, Tumnus, a white standard poodle. Ewan and Quay. Ewan sits next to his dog guide, Quay, a black Labrador retriever. Alyssa Sylvester, apprentice instructor in the Canine Vision program. Thank you for attending tonight's graduation. This is a very special graduation for me as it is filled with my first set of dogs that Allison, Greg, and I trained together. A lot of our graduates had home placements, but we also had a small class at the school. I am learning lots in my newish role of apprentice instructor, and I only got lost a few times. Congratulations to our graduates, Bev with Akron from Halle Berry, Gil with Pepper from Toronto, Natalie with Nate from Montreal, Mike with Parka, and Carrie with Whitney, both from Hamilton, Peter with Oscar from Belleville, Liz with Fergus and Carol with Lupin, both from Kitchener, and Hans with Roger from Burke Falls. Thank you for all your patience with a newbie instructor. Thank you to all of our fabulous foster families and sitters for all of your sleepless nights and loving your foster dogs as if they were your own. For the last year and a half, you have gone above and beyond your usual roles. Finally, thank you to all of our sponsors, donors, Lions Clubs, and Pet Values for helping us help others. Mike and Parka, graduates of the Canine Vision Program. Hi, I'm Mike, this is Parka. Parka was an in-home placement from the Lions Foundation at the beginning of October. The in-home placement was a little bit different than what we went through the last time, but it's worked out really well because she's done all the routes that we would normally be doing and didn't have to relearn everything all over again. Parka has also been a great addition to the family. She feels the need to present everyone with a toy each morning when they're getting up, and she still thinks that she's a lap dog but well, that's okay. She's small enough, we can still get away with that. She's been a great addition. She's given me back my independence and my mobility, and I don't have to use a white cane anymore, which is just, just great. She's a super great dog. I'd like to thank Greg, Allison, and Alyssa for the super job that they did training her, and uh, I'll never forget them for that. Congratulations to the Canine Vision graduates. Bev and Akram. Bev stops at the curb with her dog guide Akram, a yellow Labrador retriever. Gil and Pepper. Gil sits next to his dog guide Pepper, a black Labrador retriever. Natalie and Nate. Natalie stands next to her dog guide Nate, a black standard poodle. Mike and Parka. Mike kneels next to his dog guide Parka, a yellow Labrador retriever.
Carrie and Whitney. Carrie hugs her dog guide Whitney, a yellow Labrador retriever. Peter and Oscar. Peter kneels next to his dog guide Oscar, a black Labrador retriever. Liz and Fergus. Liz puts her arm around her dog guide Fergus, a yellow Labrador retriever. Carol and Lupin. Carol sits next to her dog guide Lupin, a black Labrador retriever. Hans and Roger. Hans sits next to his dog guide Roger, a black Labrador retriever. Julie Gabbery, head instructor of the Diabetic Alert and Seizure Response Programs, and Amanda Crow, instructor in the Diabetic Alert Program. My name is Julie Gabori, and I'm the head instructor for the Seizure Response and Diabetic Alert Dog Aid programs. And with me, hi, I'm Amanda, and I'm an instructor in the Diabetic Alert Dog program. Tonight, we would love to introduce our three new recent Diabetic Alert Dog Aid programs graduates. We're so excited as they are the first graduate from this program since the beginning of the pandemic. So first up, we want to recognize Chelsea with her new dog guide, Orzo, all the way out in Edmonton, Alberta. And we want to give a special thanks to Orzo's foster family, Diana Clemenhage, and his babysitter, Allison Cote Foster. We also have Jeremy and Jackson from Cornwall in Ontario. And Jackson was fostered by Kevin and Beth Coombs, so thank you, as well as Linda and Eric Burton and Kim Catalano. And last but not least, we want to recognize Bo and Trebek all the way out in Vancouver, BC. And a big thank you to <laughs> Trebek's foster family, Christine Butinga, and his babysitter, Nancy Steger. Along with that, we want to recognize the sponsors of these three teams who were all sponsored by Pet Value, which is so amazing. And we're so, so grateful for that. Even Euler is very grateful for that. <laughs> and as well, they were all also sponsored by Gordon and Diane Leaker. Yeah, and not to forget, Orzo was also sponsored by past district governor uh, Peter Wallace and his Dollar for Doggies sponsorship. So with that, we're going to pass it over to Bo, one of our recent graduates, and she's going to tell you a little bit about her experience with her new dog guide, Trebek. Thank you, and have a great evening. Bye. Bo and Trebek, graduates of the Diabetic Alert Program. Hi everyone, I just want to take this opportunity to say thank you very much to everybody who is involved in raising Trebek here. He's an incredible dog and he's already making a huge difference to my life on a daily basis. First up, I'd like to thank his foster families. Uh, I don't know what you do, how you do it. It's incredible what you do and thank you. You raise a fantastic dog who is just making a huge impact on my life, so thank you. To his trainers, Amanda and Julie, I don't know how you did that either. You worked and persevered through COVID when everything was just so unknown and we didn't know what was going to happen, but you persevered. And you've given me this dog that is just making a huge difference to my life, so thank you. Um, I'd also like to thank his sponsors. You don't need to do what you do as a sponsor, but you do it anyway, and it's just incredibly generous. Not just uh, Trebek's sponsors, but sponsors in general. You make a huge difference to people's lives across Canada in sponsoring service dogs, so thank you for what you do. Uh, Trebek here is a fantastic dog. He likes giving air kisses. He's a bit of a goofball and he's fantastic. He catches my blood sugars every day and we're a great team, so thank you. Congratulations to the Diabetic Alert graduates. Chelsea and Orso. 
hotel seat sits next to her dog guide Orso, a black Labrador retriever. Bo and Trebek. Bo sits next to her dog guide Trebek, a black Labrador retriever. Courtney Stark, head instructor of the Facility Support and Autism Assistance Programs, and Art Fernandez, instructor in the Facility Support Program. Good evening, everyone. I'm Courtney, and I'm the head instructor for our Autism Assistance and Facility Support Programs here at Dog Guides. I have Yukon here with me tonight. And my name is Art, and I'm one of the instructors who work with Courtney, and I have Kino here with me. In our facility support program, we train dogs for agencies that are helping people deal with trauma. Art, could you imagine going through a traumatic situation and having to go to a place that you don't know anyone and tell your very personal story? Yeah, that would be very hard. I mean, having a dog with you would, I think, be a lot better. Yeah. Right? The organizations that receive our facility support dogs are dedicated to help their clients through traumatic situations. And our dogs are just one of the tools that they can use to help their clients heal. Our facility support dogs are trained to be a non-judgmental attuned presence. And the organizations that receive our facility support dogs, they are dedicated to help their clients through traumatic situations. And our dogs are utilized as one of their tools to help their clients heal. So tonight we are here to celebrate two of our facility support dogs that graduated with their organizations. First, we have Lexus, who graduated with Radius Children's and Youth Center. Second, we have Jilly, who graduated with Crossroads Children's Mental Health Center. We wish you both organizations the best of success, and we can't wait to hear all the people that these dogs are helping. Isabel from Crossroads Children's Mental Health Services with facility support dog guide, Jilly. Hi everyone, my name is Isabel McKnighter and this is Jilly and this is Ivic. In 2014, we were lucky enough to get an autism assistance service dog for my daughter and in November we were privileged to go back to Dog Guides with Jilly, a facility support service dog. Um, things are pretty much the same at Dog Guides, which what hasn't changed are the warm friendly smiles from the kitchen staff to leadership to trainers, everyone was really happy to see us. It was especially good to see Alyssa again, who supported us with IVIC over the last years. Um, we were lucky to be in a group with Courtney and Art and a forever friend, Maggie, who's another mom. Um, Courtney was really good at thinking on her feet and adapting to our needs. Art was a really calming present and always kept us laughing, except when we were crying. We cried, we cried kind of a lot. A special memory has been going to uh, surprise Maggie with a trip to Niagara Falls when she thought we were going to visit the Toronto subways even though neither of us live somewhere with subways. So overall the time at Dog Guides was really special and meaningful and now Jilly is working at Crossroads Children Mental Health Center. We work with kids under 12 and provide free therapy for kids who've experienced trauma or who are having significant mental health challenges. So Jilly works in sessions with kids and just helps lower their stress and soothe kids in an environment that can be stressful. And she's gonna help hundreds and hundreds of kids mm. um, at Crossroads. So words can't really express, but a huge thank you to Dog Guides for everything that you do. Thank you. Congratulations to the Facility Support graduates. Child and Youth Services with Dog Guide Lexus, a black Labrador Retriever.
Grassroots Children's Mental Health Services with Dog Eye Jilly, a Black Labrador Retriever. Rhonda Workman, head instructor of the service and hearing programs, with a special appearance by Chutter, the Foundation's cat. Good evening and congratulations to all our graduating teams. It's my pleasure to introduce our graduating service dog guide team, Blair and Maris. So many people have worked to make this team possible, including Maris's wonderful foster family, Eva, the team's amazing instructor, Christina, and our tremendous sponsor, Pet Value. For Blair and Maris, it was love at first sound. Shortly after meeting his new canine sidekick, Blair played a lovely song on his harmonica. Maris was mesmerized and didn't take her eyes off of him. Not only did Blair gain a new friend with awesome skills, he gained a companion to enjoy music with and a teammate to cheer on the Blue Jays. Well, Maris sleeps while Blair does the cheering. We all look forward to hearing more about your adventures, guys. Blair and Maris, graduates of the service program. I would like to start off by thanking the foster families, sponsors, the men and women throughout Canada who attend the Walk for Dog Guides annually, Pet Value, and of course, the Lions Club and their foundation for providing the means to match people with different abilities to their perfect dog guides for the past 36 years. Maris is my second guide dog. To say the application process this time was a little different would be an understatement. We were set to be matched in the spring of 2020, but the pandemic begged to differ. So a special shout out to all of the instructors, supervisors, and managers in the office for keeping us well informed with the progress this whole time. Along with enduring daily testing, masks, and social distancing. I know I felt safe throughout this whole process and I thank you very much for it. As I previously said, Maris is my second dog guide. My first passed away in 2015. Having a dog guide back by my side again is incredible. A little advice to my fellow first time graduates, Enjoy every minute with your new friend. The time flies by way too fast. Sadly, there must be an end. When that time comes, apply for another dog as soon as you can. I think I waited far too long. I forgot how invaluable and time-saving this can be. Uh-oh. Oh, thank you. Fetch, that's a good girl, Maris. Maris, fetch, that's a very good girl. Thank you. I wouldn't have been able to get that myself. No. Thank you. So once again, thank you very much. You changed so many people's lives. Congratulations to service graduate. Labrador Retriever. for 2021. As we round out the year, we find ourselves reflecting on the year that was and how we've all had to change and adapt to the new realities of COVID-19. It hasn't been easy for any of us, but I'm particularly mindful of the challenges our graduates have faced. They've had to wait longer to be matched with their dogs as a result of COVID, but we are so pleased to share with you tonight is our biggest graduation ceremony this year. It means things are returning to a more normal pace and we couldn't be more excited to welcome people back into our school. 
As I mentioned earlier, there is no cost to our clients to be matched with a dog guide. This is because of the generosity of donors and sponsors, and we thank everyone who has contributed. It costs $35,000 to raise and train a dog and provide training for our clients to become a team. We hope you will consider making a donation to support the work of Lions Foundation and Canada Dog Guides so we can provide more dogs to more Canadians with disabilities across Canada. We would be honoured if you would consider making a donation. Please go to www.dogguides.com and click on our Donate Now button to support our work. To our graduates, we wish you all the very best as you go forward with your new partner. We look forward to hearing how your partnership with your dog grows and develops. We are here for you as you write new chapters in your story and we remain committed to your continued success. To everyone watching, thank you again for joining in to share this celebration. I also want to take this time to wish you and your families all the very best for the holiday season. As we all celebrate holidays differently, we honour different beliefs and traditions. I would like to offer up a wish. This year, instead of a wish for prosperity or abundance, I would like to suggest a wish for enough. Enough food on our plates, a roof over our heads, enough love in our hearts to share widely, and enough grace to protect those we love from undue hardships. Thank you everyone, and good night.